Short Story 135, The Case of the Missing Socks Bernard the Badger was a creature of habit. Every morning he'd rise with the sun, meticulously brush his impressive bushy beard, a process that could take a good hour, and finally put on his most prized possession, a pair of bright red and yellow stripy socks. These weren't just any socks, they were lucky socks. With them on, Bernard felt confident, ready to tackle any burrow-related task, be it digging a cosy new den or unearthing the juiciest worms for breakfast. But this morning, disaster struck. Bernard patted his nightstand, the usual sock haven, only to find it empty. Panic rose in his furry chest. He searched high and low, under his bed, behind the burrow's prize-winning collection of shiny bottle caps, inside the teapot, a decision he instantly regretted, ending with a singed whisker and a very grumpy vat badger. Still, no stripy socks. Dejected, Bernard shuffled at the kitchen, his normally booming morning growl reduced to a whimper. As he stirred his bowl of porridge, slightly burnt of course, because a badger without lucky socks clearly had terrible concentration, a tiny voice squeaked, Excuse me, Mr. Bernard. Bernard looked down to see Penelope, a field mouse with a mischievous glint in her beady eyes. She perched on the table, wearing Bernard's missing socks. They looked comical on her tiny paws, like oversized red and yellow balloons. Penelope, Bernard exclaimed, his voice a mixture of shock and disbelief. Those are my lucky socks. Where did you find them? Penelope shrugged, her whiskers twitching innocently. Found them lying around, she said. They seemed lonely, so I decided to give them a walk. Bernard knew better. Penelope, with her insatiable appetite for shiny things, was a notorious borrower in the burrow. He tried to reason with her, explaining the cosmic importance of stripy socks to a badger's morning routine. But Penelope, with a playful wink, simply scurried away, socks and all. Desperate, Bernard decided to enlist his friend, Beatrice the Bunny. Known for her keen nose and unwavering love for carrots, especially the extra crunchy kind Bernard always managed to find, Beatrice was the undisputed detective of the burrow. Beatrice sniffed the air, her nose twitched like a radar. Following the faint scent of strawberries, Penelope loved strawberry jam, another weakness Bernard knew all too well. She led Bernard through a maze of tunnels and past grumpy earthworms complaining about the morning commute. Finally, they reached Penelope's cosy burrow. Adorned with a surprising number of mismatched buttons, another one of Penelope's collections, Bernard suspected. Beatrice thumped her foot on the ground, a signal for the tiny field mouse to come out. The door creaked open, revealing Penelope, now smorting a mismatched pair of socks, one red and yellow stripe, Bernard's, the other a bright flor floral pattern. Hello, Beatrice, she squeaked. What a pleasant surprise, and Bernard, fancy seeing you here. Bernard, losing his patience ever so slightly, blurted out, Penelope, Please give me back my socks. A badger without lucky socks is a badger in a terrible mood, and a badger in a terrible mood leads to burnt porridge and grumpy earthworms. Penelope looked down at her to mismatched socks, then back at Bernard's pleading face. A giggle escaped her tiny mouth. All right, all right, she conceded, but only if you promise to share your burnt porridge with me. It smells even better than usual today. Bernard, relieved and admittedly a little hungry, readily agreed. Penelope scurried off and returned with a pair of very clean, stripy socks. Bernard slipped them on, feeling a wave of confidence and good luck wash over him. Beatrice, ever the detective, noticed a pile of mismatched socks in Penelope's burrow. A mischievous glint appeared in her own eyes. Seems you've been collecting, Missy, Beatrice said with a smile. Penelope blushed. Well, maybe just a little, she admitted, but I promised to return them all after a proper sock-borrowing adventure, of course. 
Bernard and Beatrice exchange glances. Penelope, with her love for shiny things and insatiable curiosity, was definitely a character. But even with her borrowing, she brought laughter and a touch of chaos to their quiet burrow life. After all, a little chaos with friends and a plate of slightly burnt, strawberry-scented porridge was better than a perfectly boring morning, even for a badger in lucky stripy socks. Vocabulary notes. Habit. Something you do regularly. Example, Bernard brushing his beard every morning. Prized possession. Something you value highly. Example, Bernard's lucky stripy socks. Pat. Verb. To gently touch something flat with your hand. Example, Bernard patting his nightstand. Haven. A safe place. Example, the sock haven. A place where Bernard usually keeps his socks. Singed. Adjective. Slightly burnt. Example, Bernard's singed whisker from the teapot. Whimper. Verb. To make a soft, sad cry. Example, Bernard's whimper instead of a growl. Mischievous. Adjective. Playfully naughty. Example, Penelope's mischievous glint in her eyes. Beady. Adjective. Small and bright. Example, Penelope's beady eyes. Insatiable. Adjective. Never satisfied. Example, Penelope's insatiable appetite for shiny things. Notorious. Adjective. Well known for something bad. Example, Penelope's notorious reputation as a borrower. Radar. Noun. A machine that sends out radio waves and shows the location of objects. Used here figuratively for Beatrice's nose. Unwavering. Adjective. Strong and never changing. Example, Beatrice's unwavering love for carrots. Undisputed. Adjective. Not questioned or argued about. Example, Beatrice, the undisputed detective of the borough. Adorned. Verb. Decorated. Example, Penelope's burrow adorned with buttons. Mismatched. Adjective. Not the same or not belonging together. Example, Penelope's mismatched socks. Concede. Verb. To admit defeat or agree to something. Example, Penelope conceding and returning the socks. Wave. Noun. A large amount of something that comes suddenly. Example, a wave of confidence washing over Bernard. Mischievous. Adjective. Playfully naughty. Used again to describe the glint in Beatrice's eye. Insatiable. Adjective. Never satisfied. Used again to describe Penelope's love for adventure. Burnt. Adjective. Damaged by fire. Used again for the porridge. Sense. Noun. Plural. Smells. E.g. the strawberry scented porridge. Story written by Google Bard AI. Image created by Desgo.com AI. Please check out my new blog at www.steveuk.blog. Thank you. Hello, this is Steve. If you enjoyed the story, please would you take the time to leave a meaningful comment and click on the like icon. If you want to know when the next story has been uploaded, please click on the notify bell icon to be notified. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tell your English learning friends so they can benefit too. Thank you.